they said. Now, do you kids like dogs? Yes! Well, we're just about to road test the Clumber Spaniel, and Auntie Rebecca is doing that one, and she's very nice too, isn't she? Yes! The Clumber Spaniel is a very rare breed. In fact, there are only about 70 of them in the country. They're loving, they're loyal, and they're proud, but not too proud to slobber everywhere. They are the most easily trained dog. They are very, very intelligent, as all gun dogs are, but these particularly are very good at agility, at tracking, they're good at uh, hunting, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's what they love to do. They are very active during the day, but if you leave them for a while, they just love to sleep. They will sleep uh, whenever they can, and they will sleep very soundly. Sometimes they don't hear the doorbell ring or see the... You, so no guard no, dog? Well, he's not a good guard no, dog. I would no. say he's not a good guard dog. But he's, uh, he's got a very deep, loud snore. So he's been banned from my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you choose a Columbus Spaniel? Um, well, my partner's wanted one for a while. We had a larger dog before, and um, when she died, we wanted something much more friendly, something very loving, which she is, um, something that was good with children, just a very friendly, sort of placid, easygoing dog. What about Boise? They're barkers? No, very, very, very quiet. She'll only bark or growl if there's usually a cat outside, so she right. wants to go and have it for dinner. Do you like the fact there's not many around? Absolutely. Do you? Yeah, Why? Yeah. Oh, well, my partner's very keen on um, the fact that we've got a, you know, he, he wanted to have, our previous dog was quite a rare breed too, and um, he wants to have an unusual dog. He doesn't want the dog mm. that you see everyone else walking down the street with. Why? I don't know, maybe it's an ego thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hardest thing about owning a, a Columbus Spaniel? I would say the hair, the dog hair, more than anything. There's a lot I mean, of it. As, as you can tell from my trousers. What about the mess? When he eats or when he drinks, there's mess as well, is that right? Just, just when he drinks, more than anything. He, he drools, slobbers, so you've got to have a towel at hand underneath. Food is fine, but just the drinking. Now, who snores the most, Jan? The husband or the dog? Now, that is a tricky question. <laughs> what about smell? Who smells the most? That's another tricky question. <laughs> <laughs> One of those situations where breeding to a particular standard or look has got to breed into real trouble. See, the first of the problems the Columbus Spaniel suffers from is hip dysplasia, which I just hate to see in practice because it is preventable through good breeding. The second issue is back problems. You see, breeding to have that really long back creates issues because it's quite easy for a disc to pop out into the spinal cord, and if you've ever seen this, you never forget it. It is just awful. The dogs are just in so much pain. Finally, the eyes. Having that typical Spaniel face means the eyelids are quite prone to turning inwards or turning outwards and creating a lot of eye irritation associated with that. So if you think about getting a clumber, there's a lot to consider. Who do you think they are best suited for? Best suited with um, a family who has older children perhaps, or couples, with a garden that's uh, fenced and that has a lot of room to they like run to around. Escape. They They do like a lot of exercise. Big romp in the park with the ball and toys and lots of other dogs.